Hello friends, in this video tutorial we are going to improve our understanding of uh, statistics uh, and work upon different new terms which uh, uh, help us to relate the data well enough than what we have learned before. So uh, let's first of all define the term statistics. Uh, basically it's the analysis of data. It is the analysis of data. So uh, we have learned about uh, the measure of central tendencies like mean, median and mode in, in our earlier classes. But uh, as we find that they are not enough for uh, the analysis of data. So in this particular video tutorial we are going to improve understanding by uh, learning certain new uh, measures which are known as measure of dispersion uh, and understand how to calculate them for grouped and ungrouped data. So uh, let's first of all see which are the different measure of dispersion which we'll be uh, learning. So first one is range, second is mean deviation and the third one is standard deviation. So let's first uh, directly move on to uh, the, uh, stand the measure of dispersion range. So the definition of range is given to be maximum value minus minimum value in every case that is grouped data and ungrouped data. So uh, after this we move on to the second uh, measure of dispersion that is mean deviation. So mean deviation about a central value A is the mean of absolute value of the deviations of the observation from A. So this particular A. Uh, note here that this mean has nothing to do with has nothing to do with the mean of the data which we calculate. So mean of the data. Uh, remember this. Moving forward, this particular point A can be two things, uh, which will uh, generally uh, it can be many, but uh, we'll uh, relate it only through uh, two points. That is, when A is equal to uh, mean, when A is equal to mean, or when A is equal to median. as these are the most effective ones. So uh, basically the mean deviation is defined as the sum of the absolute values of the deviations from A upon a number of observations. This is the basic and primary definitions uh, whose modifications will be discussed in uh, for different data like grouped, ungrouped and uh, in grouped we have uh, discontinuous and continuous. So uh, as I talked about we will discuss about we will discuss about mean and mean uh, mean deviation about mean and median for grouped and ungrouped data. So uh, let's uh, directly move on uh, to find the mean deviation for ungrouped data. So if we have say uh, n observations uh, with the values x1, x2, xn and to calculate the mean deviation first of all we'll choose the value of a. So if we are uh, finding the deviation about mean so this particular point A will be mean. So we have to calculate the mean first. So um, to calculate the mean, we'll use simply use the formula that uh, mean is equal to that is A will be equal to sigma x i, where i tends from one to n upon total number of terms. This will be the mean. And to calculate the uh, standard, uh, the deviations from this particular point A, we'll simply subtract of this particular term that is A from each of the values. That is, that is, we will have deviations. Let's say this is A, so we'll have deviations as like x minus A, x1, x2 minus A, x3 minus A, and so on. Dash dash. And now we now. To find the uh, mean deviation, we will take the absolute value of these deviations and divide by the total number of observations which are n. So basically we will have the formula given by sigma mod xi minus a upon n where i tends from 1 to n and a is given by this particular formula in case of mean. For uh, the case in which we have a equals to median. This particular A point will change by arranging, arranging the data in the ascending order. So uh, to calculate the median, as you recall from your earlier classes, we have 
if n is odd then we will have the median as the n plus 1 by 2th observation if n is odd if n is even is even then we'll have the uh, mean as the average of n by 2th observation and n by 2th plus 1th observation so it's simple to calculate so we'll have this particular point a again and uh, after this the uh, steps are similar to as, uh, that as in the case of mean we'll take the uh, deviations and then uh, we'll sum up the absolute values of these deviations and divide by the total number of observation that is n so after this we move on to finding the mean deviation uh, of discrete data discrete group data basically so let's say we have uh, the observations as x1 x2 xn which occur with the frequency of f1 f2 fn respectively so um, we'll have the mean as mean will be given by sigma fi xi i tends from 1 to n upon sigma fi where i tends from 1 to n as uh, uh, you have learned in your earlier classes and the deviations uh, will be simply uh, let's say we have uh, we like to uh, find the deviation from this particular x1 so we will have the deviation as x1 minus x bar and this particular thing will be multiplied by f1 because each of these uh, frequency uh, each of this x1 occurs f1 times so we will have deviations of this particular deviation f1 times so basically the devi uh, the um, mean deviation will come out to be um, absolute uh, the sum of the absolute value of these particular terms sigma let's put i here i tends from 1 to n upon sigma fi so mean deviation will be this let's try to look this uh, through an example here we have uh, the data in which x i is are given and the corresponding frequencies are given so uh, let's create a table in which we have the, here x i here we have f i the next column shows f i into x i to calculate the mean we have sigma uh, to calculate the mean we had the formula as you as you might have learned here x bar equals to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi so basically uh, sigma fi xi will be 300 upon sigma fi which will be 40 so we'll have the uh, answer as 7.5 as the mean now to calculate uh, the uh, mean deviation about mean we'll have the deviations uh, these are the um, the absolute value of the deviations and this is fi into mod xi so we basically have the mean deviation as sigma fi mod x minus xi upon sigma fi so basically we'll sum some of these values and calculate the mean deviation equals to 92 upon 40 so basically the answer will come out to be as we'll divide it by 4 to obtain 2 3 10 so we'll obtain the mean deviation as 2.3 you might be wondering why we haven't discussed the uh, mean deviation about median so uh, the point here is that to calculate the mean deviation about median we'll have uh, the, this particular same formula only x bar will be replaced will be replaced by m where m is the median so to calculate the median we'll again revert back to your previous knowledge finding uh, the cumulative frequency and seeing where n by 2 in uh, finding a cumulative frequency which is just greater than or equal to n by 2 and that particular xi will be the median so uh, moving on uh, let's now try to calculate uh, the mean deviation uh, about uh, the mean using a continuous grouped data so we'll study this through an example the only thing which changes here is uh, that we use the midpoint of the interval as xi and uh, keep uh, rather all these all these points uh, remain same as that in the discrete grouped data so we'll have this as F, fi this as this is now new xi this is fi xi and this will be equals to mod xi minus x and uh, we'll have same things and the same formula also so we'll calculate x bar as sigma fi xi upon sigma fi which will be 1800 upon 40 so we'll again have the answer as 45 and the 
mean deviation will again be sigma fi mod xi minus x upon here x bar upon sigma fi. So we'll again have mean deviation equals to 400 upon 40. So the mean uh, mean deviation will come out to be 10. Here also to calculate uh, the median, we'll follow the steps as that in, of the discrete grouped data. Now, uh, as you might be seeing, uh, that the values obtained in uh, this particular example are pretty high. Say we have 1800 and 440 values here. So, if the number of values or the um, particular xi becomes very large, then this particular calculation becomes tedious. So, to reduce this, we have uh, another method called the step deviation method to uh, find the mean. In this particular concept what we do is that we assume a particular median and take the uh, take the range of uh, of an interval as a dividing factor that is let's assume we have the mean as 45 and the range of our interval equals to h equals to 10 so uh, after this what we do is that basically uh, we instead of using xi, we'll use this di, which is equal to xi minus 45 upon 10. That is xi minus assumed mean upon the uh, range of the particular interval, and use this to calculate uh, uh, the further calculation. That is, we we have fi di to uh, calculate median here. And uh, these two columns remain same to calculate this uh, mean deviation. So basically, only the mean part changes, which uh, you might be familiar from your earlier classes also. So to calculate the um, uh, median, we have new formula as a plus sigma fi di upon sigma fi into h. So we have a as 45 here. And sigma fi di is 0. So basically our mean comes out to be equal to 45. Uh, the next step for calculating the mean deviations are similar as uh, in the previous method. So we have the x bar here. We will calculate xi minus x bar. So our uh, x bar is 45. We will uh, have this particular data. And we will uh, now multiply fi to this particular deviation. To obtain fi uh, sigma fi mod xi minus x bar. So we will have this as 400 as same and the sigma fi as 40 so we'll op again obtain the mean deviation about mean at as 10 